In this video tutorial, I'm going to explain how to work a long DC star as it is used, for example, in part two of the Reptin Jamie season two class square. In order to work this stitch, let's quickly have a look what it looks like in the chart. So in the chart, this is the long DC star. You see the symbol for the DC here. These are all DC symbols. And this indicates that in this row we have worked a single crochet in the back loop only. So this front loop here is free. So we've been working in the back loop in this row, in this row, here, here and here. Now when we make that DC star, we are here. So in relation to when we need to make the DC star, our first leg goes into the front loop of the stitch that is one, two behind and one, two below the next stitch. So this is the next stitch that we're working, the long DC star. This would be our next stitch here, but we're working a long DC star, which is this one. So the first leg goes in the front loop of the stitch one, two, one, two, two behind and two rows below. The second leg of the stitch goes into the front loop of the stitch one behind and one, two, three rounds below. The third leg goes into the front loop of the stitch that is one, two, three, four rounds below, directly below. So this front loop belongs to this stitch here when a square is representing a stitch. This is the front loop that is part of this stitch. Okay, and that's why we're counting down one two, three, four. And then the fourth leg goes into the front loop of the stitch that is one ahead and one, two, three rounds below. And the last, the fifth leg goes into the front loop of the stitch that is one, two ahead and one, two rows below. Okay, so that is all part of that long DC that long DC star. What that looks like in on, a, on an actual piece of work is like this. So uh, let's make the direct comparison. We've got the front loop here, which is this one. That's the furthest down. Then we've got those two, which are these, with one single crochet in between. Then we've got the outer loops here, with three single crochets in between. And now our next stitch is this one. This is our next stitch. And we're working, instead of working, for example, that single crochet into the stitch here, we work the long DC star. So when we're counting, we count with this stitch as our reference. We count one, two back and one, two rounds below in reference to the next stitch. It's two back, two rounds below. And this side would be one, two stitches ahead and one round, two rounds below. Okay, so those are these two. And then these two are one back and one, one, two, uh, uh, sorry, one back and one, two, three rounds below. So we're going one back is here. So we have one, two, and then three rounds below. And this is four rounds below. 
directly. One, two, three, and this front loop is part of this stitch that was made here. Okay, so to work that long DC star, and you can mark them with stitch markers if you want, or you just leave that. So we yarn over for the DC, the double crochet, then we go into that front loop, and then we pull up the loop to the height of the current row. And then we yarn through. We have two loops on the, on the hook. Now again we yarn over, we go in the next front loop, pull over yarn through and pull it up to the current height. Yarn over, pull through two, three loops on the hook. Again, yarn over and then we go into the next front loop which is four rounds below. Yarn over, pull through and pull up to the height of the current round. Yarn over, pull through two, four loops on the hook. Again, yarn over, go into the next free front loop, yarn over, pull through, pull up to the height, yarn over, pull through two. We've got five loops on the hook now. Yarn over one more time. Go into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, pull up a height, yarn over, go through two. Now we've got six loops on the hook. What we're going to do now is yarn over and pull through all six loops on the hook. And to close this stitch, we make a chain so we get that nice tip. And remember that this chain here is part of the stitch. It does not count as an extra stitch. This means that for the next stitch, for the next round, we will have to skip this little part. Or if you are instructed to work into this little part, this chain, you will have to skip this stitch. So as a reminder, now that you don't need them anymore, you can take out all those stitch markers. And for example, put it into this little chain. So that will remind you, and if you go through two loops, it will remind you that you can't work into that, you have to skip that. So that's one way to work this long DC star. Of course, you will have to have those front loops prepared beforehand. So considering this stitch will be worked over four rounds, you will have to place your single crochet in back loop here, here, and here. And then in the next round, in the fourth round or row, you can work your long DC star. But the pattern should help to prepare you and you should have this kind of triangular shape for those free front loops. So in preparation of these five free front loops, it is a good idea to make sure that you know where you need to place them. So your first free front loop, where you work a single crochet in the back loop, will indicate where the long DC star will be placed. So you will know that directly above this free front loop you will place your long DC star. So if in one of the next rows or rounds you will find that some of these free front loops are moved to this or this side instead of being um, right and left of this middle free front loop, then you know that something will, uh, well, something has gone wrong or that something is off with your counting. So just make sure that you have this picture. It will, it will look, will have to look like this 
where you have a free front loop here, free front loops here, to each side of the first one, and then one out and one up, there is the next. So that is the preparation that you know, okay, yeah, I'm, I'm good on track with my stitch count. I'll be able to work this long DC star. And of course, it's very important to remember to skip the stitch behind this DC star. So we, we would skip this stitch because we made the DC star instead and then we work into the next stitch. In my case, that's single crochet here. Could be something else. So that is the DC star. Okay, so now that you know how to work the long DC star, I hope you give it a go in one of your projects, that you will use it, and maybe you join us for the class square. If you want more tutorials, feel free to look at our how-to tutorials or the Petronese explained on the website www.blacksheepcrochet.com. And I'll see you there. Take care.